Today, we will explore the concept of love through the lens of 21st century philosophers. Yes, philosophers are still very much alive and thriving. Our focus in this episode will be on the insights of Slavoj Zizek. Falling in love is often described as an event. But what does that really mean? We navigate our lives, studying, working, and socializing with friends. Then, seemingly out of nowhere, we encounter the love of our life. This event becomes a transformative force, reshaping the trajectory of our entire existence. We begin to perceive our lives as a journey leading to this profound encounter, where great love blossoms and subsequently propels us into a new chapter. Our tendency to think in binary terms extends beyond love. Take, for example, the disposal of unnecessary items. We toss them into the bin, the garbage truck whisks them away, and we assume they vanish. Yet, we must acknowledge that trash doesn't truly disappear, it merely relocates, persisting as part of our shared planetary burden. To truly appreciate the world we inhabit, we should value it in its entirety, including the less desirable aspects, such as the metaphorical garbage it carries. Now, how does this relate to love? When we fall in love, our focus often gravitates towards the positive qualities of the other person, shaping our perception of them. Zizek argues that authentic love operates in opposition to this tendency, it involves recognizing imperfections and embracing an individual with all their flaws. There's a certain apprehension surrounding falling in love. To shield ourselves from potential disappointment, we seek individuals with specific traits, those who align with our thinking and share our preferences. We opt for the safe route, choosing someone who fits our criteria and idealizing our love. This inclination extends beyond relationships, evident in our desire for sugar-free sweetness and non-alcoholic beer. Examining human history, we observe that in the past, marriages were often arranged by family or advisors. Later, during the era of Romanticism, love became the cornerstone of relationships. However, are we not now reverting to a pre-romantic mindset? Marriage agencies and dating apps present us with seemingly perfect matches, allowing us to sidestep the vulnerabilities of falling in love with imperfections. So, are we truly falling in love with a person or merely with the idealized images we've crafted of that person? This mirrors our aspiration for a world without garbage, yet can we realistically envision a world without any packaging? All of these considerations nudge us toward a superficial form of consumption, distancing us from the essence of true love. For more information, refer to the description below.